Okay, um, time to finally fucking weld some shit. Um, so, you go to the weld bead command, and use a smart weld path on it. And what you do is you go kind of like draw a line over the weld path. Okay, so you lay down a weld bead that way. So, and it doesn't have to be continuous, you know, it can be broken. Um, select both sides all around. Um, you can enter from in two lengths, you know, if you want to. And you can make it even an intermittent weld. And if you choose that, then that'll do that. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Oh, and you can go define weld symbol. Oh, yeah, by the way, shit, I forgot. Hold on. Um, okay, it's for bead size. And it's set at 39 mil. Uh, I'm going to set it at uh, 250. 150 mil. Okay, so, you know, define weld symbol. So. You know, that gives us our bead diameter and whatever this is, and you know, you'd think it would be smarter than that, because I don't know what the fuck these mean, <laughs> but, um, you know, I put the weld symbol there, so click that, and of course it all disappears, um, weld bead. Okay, so that way we can actually see what the welds look like. <coughs> you know, and this isn't really heavy geometry, it's just lightweight geometry, so it's, you know, like a cosmetic thread. So, but it does give you an indication that you didn't forget to put something there. So, and anyway, we can go, you know, weld bead this sucker up here. <coughs> and I'll choose a smart thing, I suppose. You know, if you can select faces or edges, you know, if you want. They're going to have a challenge doing that, I'll tell you. Um, okay, so, anyway, gives you an idea of what that might look like. Yeah, just stick that shit together. Now let's go do a weld bead on the gussets. And this I should be able to choose maybe both sides. Um, Not all that smart. Um, there we go. Okay, now this should be. 
I'm really surprised it doesn't have some kind of a, I don't know, more visual description of what some of that shit is. Shit's well together. I'm not gonna worry about this one. So anyway, <clears throat> okay. Now let's go look at our cut table and hit update. Cause you got to do that before you put uh, a cut table in the sheet Additional view. Um, <clears throat> for our, uh, you know, little object here, so we can go and put in a weld table. numbers and nobody knows what they fucking reference. <laughs> okay, so now anyway, if we go back to our um, part four, you know, there's another 
way you can make a well bead, although it's probably going to gripe at me since I already did all the drawings and everything. Um, but if you actually, you know, work with this, you can choose this. Well, let me show you how it works first. I mean, I've never used it. You know, if you can say both sides all around, but if you say tangent propagation, you know, it actually makes it all around the part. So, but the thing that's neat about it is that once you're in that mode, um, um, Actually, a function of smart well is what it is, but you can get tangent propagation, and then just go <coughs> draw it like that, draw it like that. Whoops, draw it like that, and uh, I don't know, that's about all I have to weld, I suppose. Um, I don't know if I can <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll just leave that be. Um, but at any rate, you know, that makes it nice and quick and dirty, and I guess I could have set the property so this well beads didn't stick out like this. Um, let's see if I can, uh, Okay, in order to find the welds, you know, you gotta go to the welds folder. So, uh, you can choose a weld material and some other information about it. Clicking on that, I don't know if you can select the individual welds. I guess I'm allowed to edit the individual welds. Um, I tried doing this on a totally different sheet just to see what what that did and you know and while you can import weld symbols and shit um, it still won't auto balloon or populate the table I guess it's partly due to the complexity but my point is is these numbers fucking don't mean anything <laughs> You know, what good does it do to have a number if there's no goddamn reference anywhere? You know, because these aren't, you know, there's no reference numbers in any of these weld symbols, so... I, I mean, I, I don't know, and this asshole didn't say anything about it in this video, so who the heck shit knows? Yeah, but at any rate, as far as the balloon thing goes, no, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the only one that's bitching about that. Nobody else does, and, you know, nobody else can figure out a solution to it either. And, you know, it's just like this one guy pointed out, hell, it's like, kind of like having bead information, you know, like the length and mass on this, on, on these beads it creates, and no way of putting it in a fucking drawing, you know, or annotating it in text, you know, he just got to freaking write it down or whatever, you know, it's just half thought out, you know, like more and more shit in SolidWorks these days, they said. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just silly to have this column in here and no way, you know, not even pointing you to generally the area it is, 
you know um, so because it does give you a weld length here okay but that you know unless you know which one it's pointing to what good does it do you that doesn't make any fucking sense so anyway <laughs>